a Google Pixel for $400. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Sam Sheffer, and today we're talking about Google's recently announced slash in my hands Pixel 3a. Now, this is a Pixel 3, but there is an A in the name, and that means that this isn't quite the Pixel 3 that was announced and released a couple of months ago. This is an interesting move by Google, and we'll talk about why, but first, let's just quickly go over what's different between the 3a and the 3. The Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3a look quite similar from afar, but when you get up close, you'll start to see the differences. The first thing that everyone's talking about, the 3a has a headphone jack, while the 3 does not. The Pixel 3a has downward-facing speakers on the bottom, and the Pixel 3 has two forward-facing speakers. I'm just noticing this now, but the Pixel 3a is ever so slightly taller than the Pixel 3. And the 3a only has one front camera, whereas the 3 has the two front cameras to give you those super wide selfies. The power button has a color accent, which I really like. That's also found on the Pixel 3. The Pixel 3a has a plastic back, whereas on the 3 they were using glass, but Holding them in my hands, it's kind of hard to tell the difference. They feel they feel a little bit different, yeah, but like when you tap on them and when you hold it, they, they feel very similar. The Pixel 3a has the same camera that the Pixel 3 does, except there's no dedicated chip in here for doing image processing. That's where Google starts to save some money. Google's also able to price this device at $400 because there's no water resistance and Google's using a lower tier processor, the Snapdragon 600 series processor versus the 800 series processor that's in the Pixel 3. The Pixel 3a surprisingly has an OLED display and there's no notch. So on paper, the Pixel 3a is definitely a mid-range phone. But let's not forget how good the Pixel 3's camera is. That's kind of the marquee selling point of this phone. Now, if you're sitting there watching this video being like, hmm, should I buy the 3A? I have a Pixel 2, for example. Yeah, I think this thing is definitely worth the money. Obviously, it's a downstep from the Pixel 3. But I think why this device is so interesting is because we're in the middle of a cycle for Google. Google released the Pixel 3 at the end of 2018 last year. And this is sort of a new territory that Google's approaching where they're taking a lot of the really good things about the Pixel, namely the camera and Google software and its ability to get updates on time. And they're packaging it in something that's way more affordable than the competing smartphones out there. Now I'm kind of curious to know what Apple is gonna do if they do anything because they have the 10R, but that's priced very high at $750, but you're still getting the same processor that's found in the 10S and 10S Max. So what do you think? Will other manufacturers do a sort of lower tier version instead of a higher tier version or a pro version? A lot of times companies will sell their kind of regular flagship phone and then go upwards to a pro version. Although now that I'm thinking about it, Samsung has the S10e, which is the lower tier variant. I think ultimately it's good that smartphone manufacturers are realizing how expensive these phones have gotten and are giving pretty comparable alternatives for like half the price. And I'm personally not much of an Android user, but if you are out there with an older phone and have been thinking about upgrading, this is a very good purchase. Again, mostly because the camera is so good. And again, Google software, I would argue, is the best version of Android you can get, and you can definitely count on this thing to get updates as Google rolls them out. If this phone does one thing, I hope that one thing is level out the market a little bit. I hope that other manufacturers continue to realize that smartphones have just gotten unbelievably expensive, and maybe we don't always need crazy bells and whistles. A phone is a phone. It should have a really good camera and it shouldn't cost a thousand plus dollars. That's why this thing seems like a pretty good buy. Let me know what you think of the Pixel 3a if you're picking one up. I'm curious to know your thoughts. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. Smash the like button if you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.